Okay, I'm going to show you a few uh, things that you can do in the uh, C language. So first I'm going to include this library uh, known as the uh, STD lib. This includes um, some... Uh, uh, when, you, when you include a library, you're actually taking the um, variables, declarations, and functions within this uh, file that are declared in there, and then it's going to be compiled with this program for us to be able to access it. Um, also, I will include the uh, STDIO function. This includes various uh, input-output functions that I could use, especially for printing to the screen or for files. Uh, so um, now I'm going to declare my um, program with the uh, main function. Uh, all uh, C programs start out with the uh, main function, and it returns an integer value. Um, and this is known as a compound expression when you have these brackets right here, which means you can include several single expressions. Which end with uh, which each end with a semicolon, and those expressions will be placed within these brackets. So here I'm going to declare my uh, program code. I'll uh, um, let's start out with the uh, malloc function. This um, allocates uh, an amount of memory and returns a uh, pointer to that memory. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to declare a pointer called ptr and assign it to the um, pointer that will return from the uh, malloc function. And the uh, argument that goes to this function is known as a uh, data type known as size t. It is returned from the size of function. So um, for the size of function, I'm going to specify any uh, data type, such as integer. Uh, the int data type. This is, uh, I believe the int data type is uh, four bytes long. And so it's going to take that, take the size of that, and it's going to uh, allocate that amount of space. And um, it will give me the, um, the memory address of where it was allocated. So um, just to be sure, I'm going to print that out. So I'm going to use a printf function. Uh, I'm going to print that on a line. I'm going to print the value of ptr. And after that, I'll use the, uh, the uh, system uh, function. This is found in the std lib library. It allows me to, uh, to um, invoke the command processor and execute a command. So for a cmd command, I could say uh, pause. I'm going to use that so I could um, see what's going on in the program, otherwise the window will open and close right away. Then after that I'll um, return from the uh, main function, which will um, terminate the program and give me an exit status of zero. That's one that I specify. That will be uh, set to the error level variable after you uh, open the program. So, so I'm going to run this. Uh, so as we can see it uh, allocated that, assigned that to pointer, and then uh, printed out the um, memory address of this uh, pointer right here. Pause. Press any key to continue. So uh, it's one of the functions. Um, actually I forgot something important. Well, I don't know if there's really any difference, but there's this function known as free. It, um, any space previously allocated with the malloc function, this one will deallocate that memory. So um, I just have to specify an argument uh, pointer uh, of a pointer which will uh, specify the memory address of where that data is um, allocated in memory, and then it'll deallocate that. So um, I guess there's not much of a difference, but yeah. Another function within this library is uh, known as, uh, there's uh, two functions within the STD lib library that allow me to use um, random numbers. Um, we have the, uh, the rand function. This will uh, return a random number. Uh, so I'm going to assign that to uh, x in an uh, integer variable that I'm going to declare. I'm going to print that out. I'm going to pause this program so I can see it. And the uh, random number was 41. So it's a random number. Uh, if I keep doing this, then uh, the uh, random number will not really change. So it's not really considered a random number. So as much as a pseudo random number. I guess it calculates it from the system time. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the SRAN function that's also included within stdlib to place a uh, integer value as a seed that will um, into this equation. So the uh, random number will change. So I'm going to put input a uh, numeric value 34. And so that will be used as a seed. So the random number will change. So as I will execute this, the number does change to 149 and <coughs> other functions. Um, we also have a function to be able to a uh, to retrieve a uh, system variable. It's uh, known as uh, this is what it's called. So um, 
the, the argument that I specified for this is going to be a variable name such as path. That's a, that's a common uh, CMD environmental variable. So um, first I'm going to um, create a character pointer known as var and uh, I will assign var to the uh, to the value of what get end will uh, retrieve using uh, this variable right here. So um, this returns a um, character pointer, and I uh, and I'll print that out. So uh, so it printed out the uh, value of the path variable it includes all these right here. This is where all the executable programs in the uh, system are stored at. So I won't have to specify which uh, directory they're in. Um, Next we have um, uh, this function right here that's also included within stdlib. Um, it converts a, uh, a string value to an integer, I believe. And um, so I'm just going to specify uh, an uh, integer value. So I'll say uh, int x equals uh, this function right here with the uh, variable um, 24, I guess. Uh, this immediate value, it's a string in quotes within double quotes. This will convert this string, 24, into the actual numeric value. And I'll store that into x. So uh, I'll just uh, print that out. Notice that I used percent %d right here. This means that it's going to be a, a decimal or integer value. And uh, so that's actually proof that it's a number and not a string. Otherwise, I, I would have used percent %s for the printf function. And it printed out 24. Similar functions for the sum <coughs> function uh, includes uh, uh, the same word, including f and l for converting uh, for converting to a uh, floating point value, and then I'll specify a string with the uh, decimal or something, and then a tall, which means I'm going to convert the uh, specified string value into a long, which is uh, basically uh, an integer with more space. I think it's uh, eight bytes long. It allows uh, bigger numbers. So, so that was just a few of the uh, functions that I've uh, shown you right here in this uh, C++ and C program for what's included within the STD lib library.